Hello, welcome back. It's Laura at Hyper Stamper. I'm going to do a real quick flip through here and then after that show you a detailed uh, tour of each of the pages before I put this uh, on my Etsy shop, hyperstamper.etsy.com. And remember, everything in here is authentic, antique, and vintage ephemera. I don't use any commercial products in my junk journals, so it's a real precious treasure. So, um, this is a book I used from 1910 and when I received it, the guts of the book were completely removed from the spine, uh, but they were together, but it was really the cover that I was happy to have. Look at the brilliant bright colors of this Fleur de Leon here and the border around here in the red and black. I added some vintage beads and some ribbon down the side here, some antique lace up here and some antique Chantilly lace. Uh, this is another different kind of Chantilly lace than this one here. That's white. This one is aged. I love it. It's beautiful. So let me do a real quick flip through here. Uh, 1910 first pages. There we go. Booklet. Insert. Vintage bird book. Vintage postcard. Antique antique vintage 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 antique 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 <laughs> this is fun vintage Antique, 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 vintage, antique, vintage, ah, uh, vintage, vintage, antique, vintage, vintage, antique, antique, vintage, and a French lesson, handwritten French lesson at the back. I'm going to now go through this in a little bit more detail for those of you who are interested in maybe purchasing this or using my ideas in your own junk journals. So again, the original pages here from 1910, a 1953 receipt here from a baking company. I have a lot of those. They are originals. And then under its original onion paper, here's the author of the book, Paul Bourgi, a vintage botanical page and look at this wonderful vintage playing card isn't she spectacular the queen of hearts probably the best one right 1920s banknote and a vintage children's book page here and a different one down here that is a vintage sewing page and this here is a little book that i made out of all of my antique paper scraps and a little hidden journaling spot up here birch bark vintage stamps this is from an antique book page from the 1800s, believe it or not. A trained dove, antique paper on the back. Uh, antique map from a geography book. And that is that wonderful vintage birds and their nests and eggs book. That is an antique book page down here. And this is a vintage postcard from the 1940s. New York City, Hudson River and Jersey Palisades. Love it. Vintage paper here. This is antique, uh, hand typed. Love all the errors in it uh, before they had a whiteout. <laughs> 1887. And just more beautiful vintage botanicals. This is from a 1940s magazine. Look, I just want to open this because it's so cool. There we go. Look at that kitchen. Look at the Eames chairs there. I would kill for those. And just a little pocket in here that you can fill with whatever you like. Lavender and lace pocket of my antique book, 1900. Red, white, and blue song. Look at that. And that is super old. Isn't that cool? So you can also journal on their embroidery pattern here. That is from the 1895 Nuts to Crack article. This is from 1920s children's book page. And it is gorgeous. There's another little snip. 1920. Uh, 50s pearl shop and that is from the spine of a vintage book that fell apart and this is from a vintage bird book from the 30s is that beautiful love that very much and look at this one here that is Raphael's painting here 
um, just stunning in that 1920s book as well. I, I love the um, the binding marks here on the side. I try to keep them whenever I can. Some tatting up here. And here is a vintage ledger page. And that is a vintage crochet piece. And this is an early 1900s, 1905-ish woodworking page. This is from a 1950s book on Bambi. And that is another one from the book on Bambi. Just a nice blank spaced journal and I love this children's book image here. Here is a handwritten uh, piece from the early 1900s of, regarding an article from 1878 and it's all done with that beautiful ink and qu quill pen. There we go. Stick that back in there and this is just a vintage page here on transportation that was on the automobile page. Put some antique paper on this one from the 30s Monopoly Money Boardwalk, the best one, and chairman of the board piece. So that's a real fun Monopoly game bit there. And then this is another uh, vintage page here, July 1931 letter and antique paper on the back to journal on as well. And that is in a triple pocket there, which I think is really sweet. I can't see it from my angle. And another bit of crochet here and a postage stamp collectors from the 50 page, 50s. And here's a lovely little magazine from the 19, I wanna say it is 1958 or nine. Look at that sweet little image. Maybe we should get up lots of with that color on one side. There we go, tuck that back in there. You can even journal here, a lovely poem here. Very early uh, 1900s. Look at that wonderful children's book page. And then you pull this out, you've got another journaling spot there. And the pocket there, Play and Laughter, which is one of my favorite children's book pages. I have a lot of those. Uh, there's a, just a lovely little image there from a children's book. And there's wonderful grounds from the cottage here at Big Win. I have to find out where Big Win is. Maybe I'll Google that later. I'm curious. I'm always curious about where these treasures came from and the history behind them. I mean, these belonged to people and they loved them and they, you know, read them. And I just always try to picture that. Early 1900s here, doily instruction page here. Just a really fun cluster of antique papers. This is a vintage uh, plate. More of the same here. And there's another fun little page here from the early 1900s. Little women pocket, another children's book pocket here. And then I got this ad uh, from a vintage magazine. I just thought it was really funny. And I put antique paper on the back. So you could journal on there. And then of course a 1938 Paris France Almanac page. It's quite large, double-sided. This is another wonderful magazine here. Better for baking, cooking, and eating sun-made raisins who have not changed their box ever. I'm telling you, it's the same box. Just really fun ads here. How to make a candy dollhouse, bringing up baby, just all kinds of fun things there to, to read and treasure. I just put this one in here from a 1951 um, yearbook page, some personal inscriptions there to the girl who owned the yearbook. And then this is from the late 1800s. It's a garden watch dial that clocked their hours and their shifts. That is from an early 1900s magazine page, Miss Francine Bijoux from Montreal, using uh, a facial soap, a vintage bingo card from the 50s. And then I wrapped this around here and uh, I just thought that was really fun. And then in here is a vintage or antique, I'm actually not sure. It's from a French lesson book from the 30s, but I don't know when this was written, but it's just really cool. It's really beautifully aged and uh, somebody's French lesson notes. So that's it. It's going up on Etsy now. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed making it and don't forget to subscribe.